In this video, I'll be showing you how to troubleshoot your microphone not working in Windows 11. The first thing you want to do is test your microphone using the built-in sound recorder utility to make sure the problem is not dependent on another program. To do this, click the Windows search bar and type in sound recorder, and then press enter or click the icon. Once within sound recorder, click the microphone icon in the bottom left hand side of the window, and then select the audio device you are currently using. For me, it's the Seal Series Sonar Microphone. If your device is not on this list, it means it is not working, not plugged into your computer, or not enabled within control panel. The last of which I will show you how to do later in this tutorial. So select your device, and then record. Once you are recording, speak into your microphone, and if it is functioning properly, the waveform should change with each word you speak. You can then stop the recording. You can listen back to your recording by pressing the play button, and this is helpful to hear how your microphone sounds. If your microphone worked within Sound Recorder, but is not working within the program that you are currently trying to use it for, then the problem is dependent on that program. Likely, the input device that you are currently using is not selected within the program that you are using. In the case that your microphone did not show up on this list, and is plugged in, and you are sure it's functioning, it probably means that it is not enabled within Control Panel. To enable a device with a control panel, click the Windows search bar and type in Control Panel, and then press Enter or click the icon. Once within Control Panel, click Hardware and Sound, and then Manage Audio Devices. Once within the sound window, we're going to click Recording, since we're working with input devices. And uh, we'll use the Oculus Virtual Audio Devices to test. Um, however, in your case, it would be the current microphone you're using. So we'll enable that device. And as you can see, it will appear within the input devices within Sound Recorder now that we've enabled it. If we disable it, it will no longer be within these options. I hope that this video was helpful and have a good rest of your day.